Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clayton. In today's video, we're going to be checking out my two favorite class setups for the Pulley Mayat in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 75 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. So like I said at the beginning, this is going to be two class setups. So if you want to stick around for both of the class setups, I'd highly appreciate it. So over on my secondary, I'm using the Renetti. Tactical is the stem. Lethal is frag grenade. Munitions box for the field upgrade. Scavenger gloves so I can pick up ammo off of the ground. Running sneakers, it is basically, it increases your attack sprint and it reduces the refresh time. And over on my gear, I didn't even know this was a thing till the other day, but I think this is really like helpful whenever you use a LMG. It is the mag holster. It's basically just sleight of hand. I don't know why they don't just bring back the name sleight of hand. All right, so starting us off over on the first class, we're going to go over to the conversion kit and equip the Jack Annihilator Bullpit Kit. This basically gives you a lot of mobility, fire rate, or rate of fire, hit fire, and tax stance spread, and a lot of aim down sight speed. You lose quite a bit of recoil control, bullet velocity, and range, damage range, and weapon swap speed. But this is like the center of the first class setup. And then you're going to want to go over onto the barrel and equip the Jack Annihilator Long Barrel. This gives back the bullet velocity and range that you lose by equipping the weapon kit or the conversion kit. And then we're going to hop over into the rear grip and we are going to be using the Not Z3 grip. It gives you aim down sight speed, gun kick control, and recoil control. And then this it doesn't really help out too much. You do gain back aim down sight speed. You gain a little bit of aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and reload quickness. The 75 round bolt is a must for this class setup. And lastly, you're going to want to go over onto the muzzle and equip the Tempest GH50. This gives you a, quite a bit of vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. You do lose a little bit of aim down sight speed and aiming auto sway. But with this class setup, I basically wanted to make a fast mobility LMG. But this is my favorite class setup for the Pulley Maya and Modern Warfare 3. Second class setup actually helped me get an MGB. I could probably get one with this one if I actually like try and probably play a couple games with it and warm up. But I hope you guys enjoy this class setup. And you, if you do, let me know down in the comments. And we're going to get right into the second class setup. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Alright, we're gonna be checking out the Holy Mutt, I guess is how you say the... I still haven't figured out how to say this LMG, but... This thing actually packs like a super punch. Usually people go down here. I think all of them are either down below. My audio is really loud. I don't like the iron sights too much, but we're going to use that for this class setup. Oh my god. Oh. Hey man, that was that was a nice little clip though. Too bad that um, I'd child with the Renetti. Y'all need to go towards the objective. Okay, we, we get blown up by... I actually told myself that I'm gonna start playing like multiple games. 
uh, with the class setups and whichever one is the best is whichever one I'm gonna use which obviously I should should have always been doing that but usually I get a high kill game and I'm like yep that's the one I just take whatever I can get kind of thing I don't understand how he got a headshot on me right there. It's all good. It's um, I want to push down mid, but they're kind of like people are spawning all over the place. There's a guy top of apartments right now. Oh, he jumped down. How'd you? These spawns on this game are weird. Oh, I am dying super quick today. Holy. Let's push them back here. They're all spawning right here. So it should be like a couple kills. Reloading this thing takes so long. Put sleight of hand back in the game. I'd be so happy. There's two guys standing together. That's unfortunate. Got 31 kills though. That's not bad. God, peeled him off the hoodie. What are you doing up there? Reload this thing. Got a nade garage. That guy's getting all the kills, huh? Where'd this guy go? That's weird. He just disappeared. I'm gonna reload this thing, though. It didn't reload? Hello? I don't understand why shock sticks are in the game. I think those things are like just so annoying. They gotta be spawning or yeah, they're going up there. Okay. 114. I could definitely get this. Snook. Be smart to reload here. Uh, let's rotate. Oh my God, do me.
There's no way I just died to this guy. Oh my god. Let's just pop the advanced UAV. God. Who are you re like that? That is annoying. I was waiting on it to explode and it just, it wouldn't. Sitting in a corner, of course. <clears throat> this thing, it hits hard. I got 64 kills though right now. I could definitely get close to 70. Like why do you why do you do that? It doesn't make sense. Let's pop this UAV and try to get some kills. Where are they going? Idiots. Let's go. We won the game. Okay, well, never mind. That guy likes using that thing. Apparently. Let's push up. They have to push here. Let's go. 74 kills. GG's.